First, we got his gun. The mole was the one who used it to kill Shintani. He replaced the one bullet he fired, got rid of any traces that he used it, and put it back in Ayabe's holster. That meant that the bullet found in the body would have the rifling marks from his gun. Which meant it was an unshakable fact that Shintani was shot with Ayabe's weapon. Face it, Ayabe's alibi isn't gonna hold water. The guy doesn't even remember who attacked him? Right. Nobody will buy that. Never. Fair enough. Although, what if we caught the mole and then forced you to testify in the trial? What was that? What's wrong? It smells like something's burning. What? <laughs> My boys must have finally decided to show up. You really want to meet the mole? Now's your chance. Atsugane san, we gotta go. You too. Get up. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest you let me walk away, boss. If I give the order, the family will fall back. At least then you'd live. Isn't that what you want? That's enough! If this Ministry of Health business is true, you're nothing more than a pawn to them. Hmm. From where they stand, I'm sure you can be replaced. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. You're an idiot, Hamura. Huh? Come on. The Matsugane! They went and started a fire downstairs. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Captain! Oh, Murase. How many they got? <laughs> Captain! <laughs> That's it. They're so fucking dead! Hey, how did you pull off turning my family into goddamn terrorists? Gotta go, Matsugane-san. Right. Leave Hamura to me. Vamos 
Matsugane-san? <laughs> Koroiwa. Now you know the truth. Koroiwa is the one you want! What?
And Patriarch Matsugane? He... He didn't make it. Oh, no. Kuroiwa. Huh? Did you say something? Kuroiwa. Back at the center of the crime scene, eh, Yagami? What the hell are you doing here? Yagami-kun, what's going on? Don't fret, Fujisan. We just need to have a little chat at the station. No. He needs to get to a hospital. Hm. He looks fine to me. I'll watch after him otherwise. Are you a doctor now? He needs professional attention. Enough protesting. You'll be just fine with me. You don't even have a reason. It's okay. I'll go with you. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> you had yourself one hell of a night, huh, Yagami? Doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. Could you at least take these off? Or am I gonna get booked? Afraid I can't. Wouldn't you know, someone went and lost the key. Hamura told me everything. Told you what? Told me who you really are. You killed Vice Director Hashiki. You mutilated those Yakuza. And Shintani's all you too. I'm on to you. Well, that's a good story. But... There's only one detective here. Let's start with the cabaret and what you were doing there. I know that you're the mole. I'm the one asking the questions around here, so... You aren't denying it. <laughs> Why don't you start by telling me what you were doing when you first noticed the fire? Hamura getting away is what's gonna bring you down for good. You really missed your big chance. Can you tell me who started the fire, at least? Matsugane-san is dead because of you. So the moment I get out, your ass is mine! <laughs> Let's see you try! I don't think you realize. 89 gives me complete immunity. I'm talking about people that go all the way up the chain here. They see everything. When it comes to protecting 89's interests, there's no limit to what they'll do. Hamura is a loose end that I'll take care of eventually. And that's a fate you'll both share. This won't end with you alive. I don't mind that. All that matters is proving that you murdered them. If you think you scare me, sorry. You has been fraud. Kuroiwa-san? There's a call for you. Just one second. Should I take over? Nah. I'm through here. The fire at the cabaret. Tojo clan and Kyore clan Yakuza are both responsible for starting it. Luckily, Yagami-san just happened to be nearby and saw the whole thing. This case is closed. Thank you for your time. I'll escort you out then, Yagami-san. <laughs>